on this week's episode of Eat with Marcus Wolf. You're probably thinking to yourself, am I really going to watch a guy eat 10,000 calories of caramel? Car car caramel. And I'm about to tell you this is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Eat with me. <laughs> What's happening, my food lovers? I'm Marcus Wolf, and I am here to take you on an epic journey. Because you're probably wondering, why would anybody want to eat 10,000 calories worth of caramel products? But this is going to be a life-changing experience for the both of us. So just get ready and see what it takes when the stomach cannot handle any more food. So buckle up, because we got some serious business ahead of us. Let's go. All right, so caramel. To caramel, caramel, caramel. The one thing I wanted in my life, I guess, I don't know, really. I just I just thought of it and I thought it was a pretty good idea and it looks like a pretty good idea because look at that. We got a caramel cheesecake. We got caramel cookies, caramel popcorn. I know everybody thinks about that. I'm gonna drizzle that bad boy in caramel sauce. We got caramel ice cream. We got caramel chocolate bars. And then look at that. My favorite cereal of all time, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Does I have to make a caramel version? I am curious. I'm curious. I'm definitely curious about that one. They kind of fell short on the uh, churros. I had that last week and I was like, not as good as I really wanted it to be. Oh, I kind of forgot something. I'll be right back. A few moments later. The ice cream bars! Anyways, I'm really, really excited about this challenge. There is just so much delicious, so many different type of caramel products that I just really wanna start diving into this real quick. So enough of the talking. Let's get into the eating, shall we? All right, but what are we gonna start with? Because let's see where this ice cream's at. Well, it's not too bad. Maybe I'll start off with some of this Ben & Jerry's coffee caramel fudge. I need some boxes out there. Gotta see me eat. Oh, you know what I really want to do with this? I really want to put this in a bowl. Just not together today. Let's eat the caramel cake. <laughs> All right, so the first one we're gonna take on is the caramel cheesecake, guys. Caramel cheesecake? How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Hold on a minute. So, let's put a timer up there right now for 60 minutes because I actually think this is gonna be a really tough one. I weighed everything out and I'm like, y'all big, y'all a big challenge. So, we're gonna put 60 minutes up there and I'm gonna start in three, two, one. I actually grabbed the packaging, so right here, and it was like, you gotta thaw for two to three hours. And I was like, oh no, I uh, really wanted to eat in like 15 minutes. So I gave it a little water back. I don't know, should be fine. Caramel cheesecake, I can even mess this up, right? All right, just take a look at that. Oh, I can still see the steam coming off. Let's eat. That is so good. That is so, so good. Oh man. I know. I know I just started to dive into that, but that's how I have to end this challenge. It's tactical too. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit into the crunchy stuff before we get into the cereal. All right, so we have this caramel crunch, toast crunch. So yeah, like I said, cinnamon toast crunch was my favorite cereal when I was growing up. Cool story about that. I was like, 4'11", five feet tall at most, at like grade eight. And then I ate Cinnamon Toast Crunch like three times a day for like all of the summer going into grade nine. And I shot up to like 5'8", five 5'9", five or something like that. I mean, that's where I stayed, but I was a little BB. I was a little guy. And I, I really attribute my Cinnamon Toast Crunch Oh, I had my growth spurt. So, the first thing I wanted to do was, let's try it, let's try it, before we get crazy. Let's try this bad boy. Let's go. Mm, that's really good. It kind of tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and it has just like a new hint of that caramel taste. Oh man. 
This is a five out of five. This is excellent. Chicago mix. What's that? Oh, it's also got some cheddar in it. be really helpful when the flavor fatigue kicks in. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more milk. You know, I got about 30 calorie one. I gotta watch my waistline. Am I right? That's a five out of five. Last week's episode, I had churros, crunch, toast crunch. I gave that a one out of five. That's only because you have to give something. Actually, you know what? We're gonna start melting on the Got some of that Magnum. When are you gonna pull out the caramel? I don't know right now. Caramel syrup coming in. I know you want to eat that with me. I know you want to eat that with me. Mm. Mm. Sometimes I outdo myself. I, I mean, like, that's exactly how you're supposed to eat this. You get a little bit of caramel. There's caramel already in here. You just like double that caramel love. Oh, good. Never had Magnum ice cream bars before. I'm coming back. I'm coming back, my friend. Ooh, baby. Boom. Mm. There's like double layer of chocolate. In between the layers of chocolate, there's caramel in there. And I put the outside. I'm telling you right now, you have to do it. This is a caramel overload. It's awesome. Mm. Gotta get into these caramel cookies. So I've had a Chips Ahoy challenge before. I was really upset with myself when I didn't get any of the caramel. So, mate, I don't know if I'm not making that mistake again. I got my lips sticking together, I can't even talk. Size Chips Ahoy, Caramel. Alright, this is melting. So I've eaten in like the morning and then I've eaten in like, like early afternoon and there's a difference. There's a difference. I don't like this one. Timing wise is the best I can do. I just gotta suck it up. All right, Ben and Jerry's Cafe Caramel 
clutch. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Right, most just tastes not. Yeah, this is mostly coffee. <laughs> it ain't good. I'm gonna guess no. I'm gonna guess this thing doesn't act like real coffee. So imagine you're just like a, you're giving this to like an eight year old or something like that. Eight year old all hopped up on coffee and sugar. Whoever made Chicago mix, y'all deserve like a Nobel Prize. This is better. This is at that point where the stomach's starting to really sink. It ain't nice. <sighs> oh no. I should have opened this before. So I had some of this in my chocolate challenge. Caramel is a Canadian chocolate bar. And when I can finally open this, it's like these little squares filled with caramel. I'm only telling you all this because I looked at my stats, the majority of my people are watching from the States. So God bless you guys. Y'all keep me young. I didn't even think this was gonna be a problem. Now I'm like, I got four of these stuff still open up. The cold from the ice cream, the slipperiness from the sugar and the stickiness. <laughs> oh, I swear I work out. Just gotta catch that rhythm, right? has water on it from all the ice cream. All right, friends, I'm gonna take this intermission to explain. I might explain it in a minute. I just wanted to stall for a little bit. Can't sleep, glad to leave me. Holy man, I haven't struggled this hard in a long time. It's hard, man. <sighs> this is what it means. Man. This is...
Oh man. Oh. Oh. The flavor fatigue. That tastes awful now. <laughs> Beginning of the challenge, I think it was the first thing I ate and it was so delicious. Now, it's awful. I've never, I haven't struggled this, this bad in like, at least like a month. Let's persevere. long enough this is why it's called a challenge because I haven't lost a challenge in like a month and sometimes you're gonna lose sometimes a couple times in a row <laughs> so either way I'm gonna bow out of this one if you're sticking around long enough hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay tuned for next week's episode where there's definitely not gonna be any camera peace What's happening, my food lovers? I'm Marcus Wolf, and I am 